Okay, hi guys, in this today tutorial we will do the simple 2D trigger animation for the trigger box. Okay, I will hide the, this trigger box and we will make uh, animation when player enter the trigger it will pull it and then the door will be open. And now basically what we will do, we will create some material in Photoshop, okay, and then uh, we will change the mesh uh, renderer on this, on this object so it has a appearance that it switched okay and then we will disable the box collider so you cannot enter and re-enter it again now let me show you what we will make today and then how it's made so you can apply it in your 2d or 3d games okay just a second to unity to load this basically the bare bone of the future mobile game that i'm making now let's jump here okay here is the trigger now when my player collide with collider it will uh make animation on once as you can see and uh, I can enter it a million times it will not engage anymore because uh, now as you can see the box collider is disabled okay and it's play audio and so on now I will give you in my blog post everything you need okay this texture is for my game I will give you free this one version okay you can use it in your own game however you like it's absolutely free, use it, abuse it, do whatever you want with it. And I will give you the trigger and the sound for the trigger, okay? So you have the complete thing if you need it uh, for, for your game, for a good startup, okay? You can make your own texture, but you will get the point. Now, first, let's go and create this. Uh, first, go to the game object, then create 3D object and create plane, okay? Now, I'll copy my uh, settings of transform and I will paste it here. So I do not need to rotate my plane or whatever. When you set up your plane as you like, this uh, remove the mesh collider and then add component, go to the psychic and add box collider. Now make it bigger on Epsilon OS, okay, like this. And put is a trigger. Now you will uh, now go and uh, go to the create and then create a new material. I rename it however you like. I will name this test material number two for this purpose of this video. Now, from uh, on the part of the shader, go to the transparent uh, bitmap diffusal and then drag and drop the normal pose one image as so. Now, uh, you create the material and then just drag and drop it on the plane. Now we have the simple plane that is representing material as you can see. And we will change this because we will add your, your example for it, like this. Okay. Now uh, you will when you download my package you will get uh, two images, sound and the script okay that I will drag and drop now. The script is called a uh, texture change, okay? Just drag and drop it on the object. And the script will ask you where is the texture that you want to replace. Now, this is the first texture, and script asks you what is the second one. You just drag and drop your second one texture, it's called free position number two, okay? Now we have all the basic components except one, we need to add audio. So when we enter the trigger, we will have the sound. Go to the audio component, add audio, and add audio source. Disable play on awake and just drag and drop uh, the sound that I will give you. The sound will be uh, called the uh, cam switch. Okay, I, I use it in my game, it will be good for your tool, trust me. Or you can download whatever sound you want from the internet and edit it. Now, when you drag and drop the sound, you will find this uh, weird circle and just pick one of this and drag drag it to make it bigger so you can hear it when your player enters. This is the first hearing zone and I hope that we now have everything we need we, when we enter it to play sound and animation all at once. Okay, now let's test it. Come on, load. Okay, here it is. Jump. Okay, it's working. And now test one more. Okay. Both are working. As you can see, it's uh, playing only once, so you cannot trigger it again, and it looks real. Okay. Now let me show you how will I will use it in my game. I will disable the mesh render on my trigger and just pull this decoration trigger animation uh, above the real trigger. 
something like this. And when my player enters it, it will make a calm effect and so and so. Now let me show you what I mean. Just a second so I don't die here. I hope that you guys find this tutorial useful and if anyone have any better solution for changing the text on the mesh render, please leave the script in this video description below. As you can see, we enter the trigger, we zoom out the camera, we open the door, all with once, and now we can go and finish the game. But no, I will jump and destroy myself. Okay, that's it for now, guys. I hope that you find this useful, and see you guys in next video tutorial, and uh, have a nice holidays, and Christmas, and New Year. See you guys all, and bye.